Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Kelly Weiler here at Girl Upcycled Studio. Wanting to come live with you just a little bit and show you some of the latest things that are happening um, in the Creators Club, which is my online art group. And we are currently working on a fall painting. So um, we're kind of pulling together a few different references and coming um, coming up with a cohesive theme and a cohesive um, painting um, for our subject matter. So that was kind of our task that we had to do this week and we go live every Tuesday inside the Creators Club at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you are interested in being around some wonderful um, creative artists there are all stages. There are beginners. There are middle and advanced. We have all stages of artists in there, but um, we have one thing in common, and that is we are very passionate about art, and we are very passionate about supporting each other and lifting each other up. So um, you can find all the information you need at girlupcycledstudio.com, and you can go to the Creators Club, and it'll give you all the info there. Hi, Leah, how are you? I hope everything's coming through okay. I want to say a big hello uh, to those of you catching this on the replay because I know most of you will be catching this either later on tonight or in the morning with your coffee. I am broadcasting live right now on uh, two of my Facebook pages. I have a creators or I have a girl upcycled studio page as well as a support page and then I'm also broadcasting live over on my YouTube channel which I absolutely love it's a little bit takes me a little bit longer to get my my um, videos edited for YouTube so it is kind of nice to pop over here and go live um, on YouTube so um, let me know if you can hear me okay I hope that the sound is good and I'm just going to start painting and I'm going to let you guys just kind of have a little sneak peek into the classes. And I do have the screen kind of double screened here so that you can see what I'm working on. Um, we did what is referred to as impasto, which is just a fancy word for um, palette knife classes. And I am using the palette knife from the turquoise iris. Um, her collection. Um, I like them very, very much. And I also have some smaller ones that I use too that you can find at some of your local hobby stores. So you have to find out what is good and what is more comfortable for you. Um, and all, you know, just to kind of get your feel for it. Now, I will say that um, Knife painting, I feel, is way easier than it looks. I know I was a little bit intimidated at first, um, but I have found that it's really pretty easy. So if you've not tried it, please jump in and give it a try. Um, if you could please comment, everybody that's watching, give me a hello. Tell me where you're coming in from. And I'm going to get some of my paint on my palette here. Um, this is another palette knife that I'm using. This is from the Turquoise Iris as well. Um, hello, Facebook user, whoever's saying hello. Listen, if I'm not seeing your name, you will have to give StreamYard permission. And you can go outside of the live and then just hit that little link and it'll give you, you permission. Now, if you are over, hi, Debbie Dennis. If you are over on YouTube, I think it will automatically let me see your name for some reason. So this is another one that I like to use. Hi, Miss Kimberly Ryder. How are you? My dear friend that I just um, had the pleasure of doing a workshop with Kimberly um, in South Charleston, Ohio, and we had an absolute blast. It was amazing. So um, hopefully you can catch her at some of her retreats and uh, she's getting ready to open up a new place. So she'll be having some new um, workshops coming. So you have to check her out. Um, this is one that I use quite often. This is um, just one that I, it's Master's Touch. You can see how little it is and how thin it is. Hi, Deborah, how are you? It was the best time. Um, so 
try the different sizes out, see what works for you. Um, there's really no right or wrong answer because we're all different and everything, um, you know, what's what I love the most may be completely different for you. So I don't want you to ever feel um, like you are not doing something correctly because it's just that's just not how it is in the art world, which is why I love it so much because we um, we have the option of trying different things and seeing what works, you know. So I am going to work a little bit on the front here. Um, when I work on these paintings, especially when I'm doing the impasto or the knife paintings, they're very thick. So I like to kind of bounce all around uh, as I'm working on that. And I'm just using, I'm actually using the DIY clay-based paint along with acrylics. Most of the acrylics that I currently have for no particular reason other than it's what I have access to very easily here at the stores. Um, that's right, Kimberly, art is never wrong. That is so right. Um, so Master's Touch is just what I happen to have and this is the thick bodied paint. Now the thick body paint, you can use just by itself if it's thick enough or you can use something to thicken it up. So I have modeling paste. Let me just flip this back over. Hi Paulette. Hello Susan from Dallas. So if you um, take a peek here, this is the modeling paste. This is just Liquitex, nothing fancy. Again, it's what I have access to. You can also use like a, um, Oh, there's like different mediums you can use that are thicker too. Um, you want to just make sure that it dries clear because what will happen is it'll take on the color of whatever paint you add to it. You can kind of go by um, really, really what you feel as far as how thick you want it. Now, I will say if you are a beginner um, and you're trying the knife painting, Thin layers to start with are good, okay? Um, start with thin layers and build it up because it will give it a chance to dry throughout the layers. If you put it on super thick to begin with, um, it may crack over the years. So if it's something that you're really hoping to um, have and sell um, and you want a person to have it um, in their home for a while, you wanna make sure you put nice thin layers on. So um, keep that in mind. What I do when I'm painting is I block my, all of my colors in. So if you do wanna take this class, hi Patricia, thank you. If you wanna take this class, you can watch it from start in the Creators Club. Uh, and I show you how to kind of um, set up the composition. And then we start by blocking in some of those colors. And I just did that with just with a, a brush and did it very lightly and very quickly, actually. So um, you don't have to put a lot of time into it. OK, that being said, I want to go ahead and let's get started here. I've got a little bit of chromium. I'm going to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let's get that. I've got some uh, aviary, which is a DIY clay based paint. Now my, I have watered that down previously. So what I'm going to do to thicken it back up is I'll just add a little bit of medium. Hi Judith, how are you? Um, I will add a little bit of modeling paste to the mix. Oh my goodness, look what just happens. <laughs> it's coming out the back. So it tells you it's probably not like the best quality of packaging job here, huh? But that's okay, we're gonna roll with it. And I'm using my knife. I wish I had a third camera so that I could actually show you my paint palette, but I don't. This is, you know what, the Liquitex is not, I don't know, it's not working. The bottle's not working so well. But we're gonna go with it, okay? I'm just going to 
Maybe I just squirt it out the back end, and if it wants to come out the back, we're, we're just going to do it. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> right? We just have to roll with it when things happen, especially on a live, right? Okay. So I'm going to mix that with my knife. I'm just smushing it down. It's very much like icing. Like when you ice cupcakes. Um... See. Okay, it looks like looks like we have a somebody. I'm gonna delete a comment. We have a little bit of a what do I want to call them stalker. <laughs> They're called trolls, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that, and I'm gonna have a little bit of. Let's see, let's do a little bit of red ochre, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of Payne's Gray to the side to darken things up just a smidge. Now the Payne's Gray is kind of cool because it has, it's, it's like it has actually a blue tone to it, but it's really super dark, um, and I kind of like using that instead of black sometimes, or when I use black, just put a little, just put some blue. You get your blue and add a little, little touch of, uh, a little touch of uh, the blue to the black is all you have to do. I hope I said that correctly. Now, as I'm pulling down, I'm just going to really touch. And if you notice, I'm changing this angle just a little bit. I'm fixing it up just a little bit, this angle. Because it needed to be a little bit higher going into the back. So these are just really super easy fix. Easy, easy fixes. Hey, um, I don't know if she is watching, but... A great big happy birthday to my mother today. If y'all could give her a shout out. Mama Sue is 86 years old today. And so we're very happy about that. And that is something to be celebrated. She might say otherwise, but I think that that is something to be celebrated. I told her today, you know, there are a lot of people that aren't even that age that can't even walk around as well as she does. So, so I'm very happy about that. Um, any questions? I'm glad you're here too, Susan. So I'm kind of just creating a little bit of a shadow. fingers too. And then I'm going to go in and spray a little bit just to get a little bit. Yeah, happy birthday, Mama Sue. Thank you for that. Now, the one thing that I like to do is tell my members in the Creators Club to, oh goodness, that just, that's still spraying, is to um, make it their own, right? Even though we have references and all that good stuff, you still need to make sure that you put your stamp on it or your fingerprint is what I like to call it. And for me, I always have a few little drips in mine. That's just kind of what I like. This is, so what we did in this class in particular, let me just kind of let y'all know what we did. Um, I pulled together four different photos, okay? And we kind of pieced together a picture from those references. Now, they were all copyright-free images that I used. Um, however, even with the copyright images, I think that it's good to put your own spin on it. You know, 
gonna I'm going to make this look like it's you know, going off the page there. But that is a great way to kind of come up with some of your own ideas. Let's see if this looks Quite right yet is it so you can just take the edge of this knife and just cut right in changing little bits little bits and bobs if needed right and so this particular picture that I picked out was a pretty dilapidated barn and I kind of kind of like that because it gives you a lot of freedom and a lot of um, you can be pretty loose with it if that makes any sense putting in some of these darker shadows the sun is on the back side of this. So it was pretty dark in the front. It looks to me like it is. The sun is going down. And I know you probably can't see it as far as the video is concerned, but I do have some nice pops of color that are on the undertone here. So I do like to add a little bits of a uh, little interest and all that good thing. Um, hello, Chris. How are you? How's the kids? I am I think I'm ready for fall. I say that and then, you know, probably, you know, the problem with fall is it sometimes it goes so quickly. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but fall is my favorite time of year. But man, it just goes by so quick. And then for me, I don't know if y'all are like this after Christmas, the year just drags on. So If you are new to my page here, um, I do have a I do have a YouTube channel, so I'm live over there right now as well. And you can find different videos if you're interested in art and furniture upcycling and all that type of thing. You can find more videos over there. Anybody else painting today? And thank you so much for spreading the love and sharing all of the videos out for me. I appreciate that. I'm going to add a little bit of darkness there, but I think I want to lighten it just a smidge. So I'm going to add um, white. Find it. You guys should see my setup here. It took me like a half hour to set up for this today because I'm running on all the different channels. Um, it's almost like a like a drummer's set, you know, where they have a horseshoe all around them. That's exactly how my setup looks today. So, <laughs> hello, repurposed Rose. Where are you coming in from today? you. Okay, I'm going to mix just a little smidgen of white in that mixture. So really you're just, you can use the same colors, get it lighter or darker just by adding your white or your, I'm going to say black, it was actually Payne's gray that I used. So Oh. 
and I when I'm teaching how to use the paint knife, I tell my members to kind of pretend that there's a little pearl um, in between the blade and the canvas. I used to say BB. <laughs> so I, I would say pretend there's a little BB and um, for some reason people thought I was saying baby. <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? Wait, that, why would I have a baby? No, why would you have a baby? No, BB. So anyway, so I started saying Pearl. I think that um, translates a little bit better, right? It sounds fancier than BB, but you know, I'm a country girl and you know, we were, we all had BB guns growing up. So you can see as I'm adding this, the, all these layers, the more layers, the better, really. Impasto painting is supposed to be thick. You can do, you can do impasto, I'm going to use my fingers. You can do impasto painting with your fingers as well. So same thing. It, it just basically means you're painting thickness on there. Okay. Hello, Facebook user. Not sure who that is. Whoever said Kelly Weiler, hello. And hello, Tina. How are you today? Let's see. Where's everybody coming in from today? I really need to do this more often on my YouTube channel. I really, oops, I accidentally got a little bit of green on there. Let me wipe this off. My paper towels here. Let me just scrape it. If you make a mistake, boom, you just scrape it, scrape it off. And honestly, who's to say there's not a little bit of moss or something growing up on that roof as well. So you can kind of just make it work for you. So this is the good thing gang this is you know a great place to let loose and experiment and um, have fun like i said it's not like when you make a mistake in art it really isn't a mistake you just kind of learn new things and sometimes when you make little mistakes like the green that went on there like i said it's going to become a little bit of a mossy look on that undertone um hi Jeannie. how are you oh my goodness your workshops look fabulous by the way i must say so i just added some a train Kids hear the train? Probably, probably can't help but hear it, huh? I love it. You get really used to it when you're when you hear it all the time. So now the top that I just added, thank you, um, has a little bit of a warmth to it. So it's getting a little warmer as I come forward, but you know, you have, you have options. You don't have to, let's see what's going on. I want to keep it more, it's had a little warmer. Um, you have options with your color tone. So um, just go with really, um, you'll find out once you start painting, um, you'll see that you start leaning towards a lot of the same tones. Like almost everything I do has a little touch of turquoise and I can guarantee that this will have some turquoise in it before it's all said and done. Let's see, I want like a little more yellow. 
So I'm just throwing a little bit of raw sienna. Now, listen, gang, if you are a person that wants to dive in and do some fun painting classes and just kind of grow your skills, we would love to have you inside the Creators Club. They are a wonderful group of ladies, and I will tell you, if you are a member, then you would be eligible to come to the retreat in October. But you have to be a, mem a member. It's for members only. But uh, we have a wonderful time. Let's see. I feel like I'm going to go with... I've got this color called Prairie Gray. Do I have a recipe for impasto painting? Well, some of the some of the paints that I use are already thick. So I use the DIY clay-based paint, has clay in it. If you have anything that is too um, fluid, um, you, you have some options. So you can get thick-bodied paint, or if your paint is not thick enough, you can just get modeling paste um, and add into it or texture medium. It has a few different names, but really it all kind of does the same thing. Anyway, I'm going to add white, a little bit of white to the prairie gray. And it is a beautiful color, but you see it's going to be a little too late. And I, like I said, keep in mind, right, I have a pearl in between. I'm, I'm pretending. Pretend there's a pearl in between that blade, that knife, and the canvas, okay? Okay. And then you're going to just kind of Oops, I'm just going to tap it in there, here and there. So this particular, this particular um, barn was broken down. It had pieces of wood missing and you could see little, little bits of the outside light. So that's why it really had some light spots shining through. I feel like it needs warmed up though, so I'm going to add just a little smidgen of raw sienna beside it um, and I'm not using texture medium in all of this as you as you'll see a lot of times for me especially especially when I'm teaching um, I usually try to teach a class in about an hour and a half so I don't always have time to make it at quite as thick as I want to so, but what you can do or what I can do is come in later when I'm not teaching or I'm not doing a live feed and add a little bit of thickness to it later. So, as you can see already the light points that I'm adding in, that's already giving it the illusion that you're seeing that outside light. Thank you so much. Um, oops, goodness. Okay, I need to bump that. Um, so you can kind of just add as much or as little as you want. I think it just, I like seeing all the little pops of color. Now, those of you that love water, um, very, very easy to do water with a knife. So give it a try. Um, it's a great way to show some reflections and okay. I really like the warmth of the, the yellow that I use the raw sienna. Um, 
and it warms it up. Because you got to think it's being backlit. It's being backlit by the sun. So it would have some warmth to it, right? And I think that's not too bad. Okay. Okay, so this right here, probably got to start working on him a little bit. Um, hello, Renee. How are you? Rainy Day Vintage in the house. How are you? Another one of my creative artist friends that I have the pleasure of hanging out with. So, miss you. How's your day going, Renee? Make sure you keep your knives clean and wiped off because this is something that I'm really, really bad about. <laughs> um, and then I come to use them and then I've got to like scrape my knives all off, but that happens. So anyway, let me see if I can give you a little bit of a close up. Just yummy, yummy texture movement and all that good stuff. So I don't know. I might even lighten that up a smidgen. I don't know. It kind of looks like there's fire in it, huh? Looks like that on screen, but it doesn't look like that in person. So that is to keep that in mind too. Okay. So I'm going to start with this guy. This is, there's a little owl sitting over here. I don't know if you can see him. I kind of have a thing for owls. So I'm going to just him in there. Um, okay, so let's start with let's do a little bit of burnt umber and we'll put some white, uh, titanium white. Um, Hard time finding it. I think it's because I bought a different brand this time. This is Grumbacher. It's the brand I'm using the titanium white. All right. And I think I'll just grab a little brush and just do some brush work real quick. And lay some color in. All right. Can you see okay? Dark enough. All right. If you are local here, um, our neighbors at Weasel Boy, they are getting ready to open up the tiki room for the night. So we'll have that going on. And they can make you a refreshing tail here thirsty for something like that and I want to add a little bit of that Payne's gray like I said if you don't have the Payne's gray just add your darkest blue with black and that'll give you that that dark kind of color okay to do a quick quickie. There's another wing over here. Didn't really get this exactly how I wanted it, but he's going to kind of go off the page a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, thank you. Lots of that's a good texture, that's right. You can't get wrong with texture. Alright, let's see. The eyes, let's see. Be about
something like that. Give or take. And this is just the bottom coat here, bottom, you know, kind of blocking in some color. Um, like I said, y'all, if you want to see how I started this, you can join the group and take the class. Come in, try it out. There's no obligation. You don't have to stay if you don't like it, but my hope is that you will love it there. And uh, I hope you love it there and you learn and you grow and you stay. That's my hope. Do his little leg. Yeah, I gotta rework this a little bit. So I had the log coming right here, so I'm gonna move that log so the log will be more like this. So we'll just change the angle a little bit. Let me know, those of you that are catching this on the replay tomorrow or tonight, I want you to get involved with the conversation as well. There we go. I think that'll work. Let's just kind of fill that in. You'll notice I've got my brush kind of just going all different directions and it's not going to matter because I'm going to be putting texture on top of that so it's going to just add to everything. have to go now. Goodbye. You may join. I think that's, is that uh, Jeannie? If so, yes, we'd love to have you Jeannie and if it's not Jeannie, well, we'd love to have you, whoever it is. Alright, so let's In and out. So this. I kind of, when I start getting into that zone, it's usually I start getting a little quiet, so I apologize for that, but this is just the process of an artist when they're painting, they kind of get into that zone or the flow. Some people call it the flow, right? I mean, it's a, it's kind of what we strive for when we're working, finding that flow. So that's a good thing when you are watching a person paint and they kind of, kind of go off for a little bit and get to quiet. I try not to do that in my classes, but <laughs> okay. There we go. I think he's coming along, isn't he? a little bit here. Hi, Jamie. Yes, girl, watch the replay. <laughs> this is in the group, which you are in, my friend. How many of you are in the Creators Club that are watching? Do we have, I don't know how many members are in here right now. 
So I do have a, the, it's called Girl Upcycled Support, the support group, and it's like I'm running this in that group right now. This live is running in there, but it's just a place to connect with people if you have questions or if you want to share your art or the things, any of the things. Okay, let me look up here and see. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I'm not hating it. <laughs> I am not hating it. But sometimes that's all we can ask for. Some of my bar darker areas. Some of that paint gray. So his his lightest side should be this back side, and he should be darker here. Okay. So he's the light is right here. So we'll put a little bit of illumination, illuminate from the back side. I think that'll be kind of cool. And this will have some dark, some dark places. So. Have any of you painted today? I am curious. Have you all typed in where you're coming in from? Because I do, inquiring minds do like to know. <laughs> there we go. And so that's all right. Hmm. Pretty happy with that. All right, I'm going to start with my knife. And I think I'll use the little knife. Let's just start putting in some of these, some of these wings, and, and birds are awesome to do with a knife because it gives you great texture for feathers. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but people that do a lot of um, painting with knives, they do a lot of birds and things like that because it gives it, it gives a natural feather like effect so if you are a beginner do some birds it's a great way to great way to start give yourself a nice win under your belt
Oh, my Julie is here. Come down, my Julie. How are you? If you feel like you are going too dark um, to begin with, just lay it in there, step back, let it dry, and then add, as it dries, add, you'll add some more light. So, okay. And what will happen is that dark color that you added, you're in Seattle been to Seattle Julie we need to we need to make that happen don't we um, my next see my next retreat will be in Connecticut but we did sell out the tickets are sold out so that's a good problem to have but um, we might need to add another uh, workshop or another retreat somewhere for next year. We'll see. Hi, Tammy. Got bumped off last night and couldn't find you after that. Oh my goodness. You know what? I've been having some trouble with, with the Facebook. And so this is why I'm using StreamYard right now and you know what I might just continue to do that um, inside the group because uh, we can't we can't have y'all not being able to find me during the class right that's not cool not cool But it was a really good class, I, I think. I mean, other than the tech issues. I think people enjoyed it. And the way this one was, um, Tammy, is you have, you have the option to build your own cohesive um, composition. I give you a lot of ideas and a lot of references to use. So yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to mix some brown into that paint gray and just pull, start pulling it over this wood. Just to get some texture in there. And let's see. can see got a nice little bead of paint right there and again you're going to pretend kind of like there's a little bit of a pearl is what I keep saying or BB you can say BB if you want <laughs> and we're going to just kind of drag this making that yummy wood kind of textured kind of look. So remembering our light source is here. So the very top of this log might have a little bit of warmth skimmed to it. Your classes are always good and fun. Thank you. Well, it's because of the members, really. Y'all are awesome. It's a, it's a very, very special group. It's not huge, but it's just right. I think it's, uh, it's manageable. I think everybody is able to be pretty personable there, right? Which is an awesome thing. So the very top of that will be lighter and I'll go dark as I start coming down around the 
which means I'm going to use what? More of that. Paints gray. Now, one of the pictures that I had references, um, it was a field of pumpkins. So I would love to know all of you that are watching this right now. Um, what do you think? Do you think that it's okay the way it is? Or do you think it needs like little pumpkins out in the field and maybe coming around this way? Or is it okay just as is? I, I'm kind of wondering if it's just kind of okay as is. Just kind of seems like it might not need pumpkins, huh? I feel like too, um, if I don't use pumpkins, then this would be something you can just keep up on year round, right? Although who doesn't love pumpkins, right? But just a random view. Yeah. Yep. I agree that could be the best answer for that. It's going to be dark, but I'll have a little bit of the warmth still in it. Okay. And it's a little bit too light for my liking. Um, I use knives on a regular basis on a lot of the top layers. Like even um, even that mural that I did over at for Muddy Misers, I did a little bit of knife work for that. And I definitely used knife work for, I don't know if you all saw the boat that I painted for uh, the social club. Uh, definitely used it for that. Pumpkins would be great, says Leah. Thank you for your input. I will definitely consider that. Okay. Oh, that's pretty wet. So let me see if I can give you a little bit of a close up. It's pretty chunky and wet. This is a 16 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas by the way I don't think I told you all that you can get canvases pretty pretty cheap right now to be honest okay I'm just going to really I'm just going to be following everything that I've already put on and I'll be going I'll be using dark shades moving forward to light. Okay. A little bit thick there. Don't be afraid of messing up because it's it's just paint. We can we can fix it. How many of you have painted with a knife yet? Do I have any that are new to that? It's pretty fantastic. If you've not tried it. Me, me, me. That's right. This was actually a member's choice in the group they requested. 
requested that we do some more knife classes. Actually, last week, too, was a good one. I'll show you the pictures from that one because um, I actually did a giveaway to my members, and it was pretty awesome. But I'll show you that one. We, used, we did finger painting, and it was really cool. So if you notice, I'm going to add a little bit of gold to the top of this just to give that illusion like it's backlit maybe he's got a little bit of light that light source is hitting him right um what else do we want what do we want to do it's very forgiving so if you are scared i'm here to tell you not to be and to Give it a try. You will love it. And you will learn something new. And maybe it's something that you want to incorporate in your art. You know? Let's see. better already okay we're coming up on one hour I've been live we're at 57 minutes and so I'm trying to keep it at an hour um, what I will do so let me, um, let me pull this over here what I will be doing after I get most of this filled in and completed is I will add um, some little pops of probably like the tiniest, tiniest touch of turquoise maybe, just faintly um, because I like to use that as a little bit of highlight. So. Um, that's my plan for that so I'll kind of show you a little bit of how that will work I'm going to get a little bit of turquoise on my knife and maybe mix it with a little bit of green maybe and it's just kind of let's see I'll just put like a little kind of touch it's the tiniest tiniest touch in there and that's kind of just kind of just my kind of signature that I like to do you see that little tiny see how that that turquoise kind of pops even though it's very very little right and that is because most of the colors on that background are are warm. We have a lot of warmth, and so you add you add a little bit cooler touch to it, and it just kind of bam. It just kind of makes it kind of makes it pop, right? Which I love. Um, what else am I going to do to this? I have to decide whether I'm going to add pumpkins or not. But I will for sure add the finished photo when I'm done. I'm loving it so far. It's pretty darn wet. So what I'll do is I'm going to kind of let it dry and then tomorrow I can come through and just do some more thick coats. But I do want to show you last week we did finger painting and this was, this was our painting that we did all with our fingers And I'm pretty happy with it. And one of the members won this. So Catherine Prince Horns won this. So congratulations goes out to Catherine. All right. And she's actually going to pick it up in October when she's here for the retreat. So that works out perfectly. So 
If you don't have any questions, I'm going to call it an evening. If you're catching this on the replay, make sure you put any questions you might have in the comment section. I'm always happy to help. And thank you for being here. Um, those of you that are over on my YouTube channel, um, absolutely love YouTube and love uh, everybody over there that follows my, my page as well. So um, you can find more information about the Creators Club at girlupcycledstudio.com and you'll just go to the Creators Club link and it'll give you all the info that you're looking for. Dang, I won a prize, sad face, says Julie. <laughs> well, I'm going to be doing that on a regular basis through my club, so. Um, goodness, did I just lose juice? Anyway, um, I'll see you guys soon, all right? Have a great week. Bye-bye.